Well, the club is uh, like really nice, really organized. Everything is, is well packed together and I really like that. Um, you see a lot of faces every single day, so you get to, get to know each other really quick. The city, I haven't really visited it yet. Uh, we'll do that in a few days, but it looks very similar to a city I worked in in Belgium, like a student city, not too big, not too small. So uh, I think I like it. Well, I've been following uh, Beto for a while since he was in Vechta. Um, a lot of the things that I do as a coach, tactically, um, I stole from him. Um, and when I visited him last year in Hamburg, it just, you know, it was clear that how he works and how he does things is just, you know, everything is clear. Uh, there's a high level of um, attention from everybody. The standard is really high and that, that really attracted me to, uh, yeah, to not even hesitate uh, my decision. <laughs> Well, I started coaching when I was 17. Um, I got an injury so I couldn't play for a little while and I started coaching under 12, under 14, under 16, under 18 like this. And at some point I got to uh, the club in Leuven, Leuven Bears, which is a first division club. I worked there with the second team and some youth teams, but I was visiting the first team practices uh, almost every day. And the next year I got the opportunity to be an assistant coach there and you know it's just the investment of, of being around when it's not even necessary and once you start working you know except you know maybe a, a little bit less money but you take the experience with you and um, yeah you do that for a few years or very quickly you're going to get some experience <laughs> Well, you get to have a really big impact on the people that you work together with because you're working with people that are chasing their own dream, um, that are doing things that they are really good at. You get such a close relationship so quickly because everything is so intense and in one season even, you know, can give you a relationship that can last for a long, long time. You know, like I'm still talking to players from five, six, seven years ago. Um, and that relationship building and being able to help or being a small part on somebody's journey towards their dream is, is, is just really interesting to do. First of all, the league is very organized, like it's a very clear product. So, so you know when you step into the BBL that, that I mean, everything will be structured, everything will be clear, uh, well organized and the level is I mean, it's just good. It's very physical, uh, but also tactical. I mean, you get coaches. I think this, this league is a league with the most different nationality of coaches, maybe in the world. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about that, but it should be very close. So you have so many different um, uh, philosophies, so many different playing styles, which makes it very interesting to, to be a part of. <laughs> Well, my responsibility with the team will be mostly on the defensive side um, in combination with some player development um, and besides that you know a lot of scouting a lot of analytics um, these kind of things I like to be you know by myself also you know, with my family I like to read books um, I started playing a little bit of saxophone as well so I like to do that listen to music um, yeah, nothing too crazy, you know, this, this, this job is pretty demanding, so outside of the job I try to get some downtime and, and, and charge my batteries. <laughs>